hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on mappings and functions this is our third video on mappings and functions check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on mappings and functions so in this video we'll be looking at inverse function now consider f of x equal to 2x minus 1 on the set x such that x is set of negative 1 0 and 1 into the set y negative 3 negative 1 and 1 the function can be defined as f equal to a set of ordered pairs of negative 1 comma 3 0 comma negative 1 and 1 comma 1 so with this f takes an element from x and produces an image in y if you look at it now the image of negative 1 is negative 3 and the image of 0 is negative 1 an image of one is one it is based on this that we have redefined f negative one comma negative three you can see this zero comma negative one here it is and one comma one so this is the explanation of this function now suppose we reverse the operation and let the relation be g such that every element in y is associated with a unique element in x so every element in y is associated with negative one the element negative one is associated with zero and one here is associated with this one the relation can then be defined as negative 3 comma negative 1 negative 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 you look at it negative 3 comma negative 1 negative 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 so the relation g is a mapping and it is referred to as inverse of function f it is denoted by f to the power of negative 1 it doesn't mean 1 over f so a function f has an inverse if and only if it is 1 to 1 and on to that is if it is a bijective function then it has inverse otherwise the inverse does not exist we now go ahead to solve some problems on inverse function for problem one the function f defined on the set of real numbers by f of x equal to 2x minus 1 you remember the one we just used find a f inverse of x b f of 0 and c f inverse of negative 1 so the method of finding the inverse of a function is to replace this f of x with y and then make x the subject of the relation starting from a we have to find the inverse of uh, f so we let y equal to 2x minus 1 to make this x the subject of the formula first we keep y here and bring this to the left hand side it becomes plus 1 equal to 2x dividing both sides by 2 now to finally make x the subject of the relation we have x equal to y plus 1 over 2 then we now go ahead to see f inverse of x we now replace this y with x such that f inverse of x becomes x plus 1 over 2 and that is the solution of problem 1a then we go ahead to find f of 0 so for f of 0 we put 
x is equal to 0 in f of x we have it as 2 into 0 minus 1 that gives negative 1 the whole process we are trying to demonstrate is to see from our explanation can we actually get it from calculation so we now look for f inverse of negative 1 and see if it will give us a 0 then our calculation has cleared the previous explanation on inverse function so we go we go to if inverse of a f wherever we see x we put negative 1 so we now have it as negative 1 plus 1 all over 2 and negative 1 plus 1 is 0 0 over 2 gives a uh, 0 and we can see now that uh, our calculation has clarified our explanation earlier on inverse function so we go to problem 2 for problem 2 if f and g are mappings defined on the set of real numbers by f of x is equal to 2 minus x and g of x is equal to x minus 1 find a f inverse of x b g inverse of x and c composite function of f inverse of x g inverse of uh, x where g inverse of x comes first then f inverse so we go ahead now to find f inverse so to find f inverse we let y equal to 2 minus x so we now make x the subject of the formula so here i'm taking this x to the left hand side it becomes plus and we still maintain 2 on the right hand side we take y to the right hand side it becomes minus y so we have successfully made x the subject of the relation therefore f inverse of x now will be 2 minus x and that is the end of solution to problem 2a we go to problem 2b so we go to g of x and uh, we replace g of x with y so we let y equal to x minus 1 again we make x the subject of the relation so what we just need to do is to move this negative one to the left hand side so we now have our y plus one equal to x therefore g inverse of x now will be x plus one and uh, that's the end of solution to problem 2b then we now go ahead to solve c for c we have uh, f inverse g inverse of x where g inverse comes first then f inverse um here we are bringing in the g inverse of uh, x so we hold f inverse g inverse of x is x plus 2 so we have f inverse of x plus 2 where we now go ahead to f inverse wherever we see x we put x plus 1 so we now have it as 2 minus x plus 1 simplifying this bracket we have 2 minus x minus 1 2 minus 1 gives a 1 then minus x so that is the composition of f inverse and g inverse of x so we are done with problem 2 we go to problem 3 for problem 3 find the inverse of each of the following functions defined on the set of real numbers we have a a b c which represent f of x g of x and h of x so starting from a we let y equal to 7 minus 3x we then make x the subject of the relation so that we now bring this 3x to this side it becomes positive and 7 is maintained on the right hand side 
taking y to the right hand side we have negative y dividing both sides by 3 x will be 7 minus y over 3 then we go ahead f inverse of x now will be 7 minus x we have replaced y with x over 3 so we are done with uh, 3a we go to 3b for 3b again we let y equal to 5x plus 8 then make x the subject of the relation here we are bringing this negative 8 here we are bringing this positive 8 to the left hand side so we have y minus 8 equal to 5x dividing both sides by 5 so we have x equal to y minus 8 over 5 so our g inverse of x now will be x minus 8 over 5 so that is the end of solution to 3b we go to 3c also again we let y equal to 3x over x minus 2 um to make x the subject of the formula here first we cross multiply so that we have y into x minus 2 is equal to 3x expanding this bracket we have y x minus 2y is equal to 3x so we collect the terms with x on one side therefore we bring this 3x to the left hand side we have a yx minus 3x is equal to 2y now we factor out x so factoring out x we are left with y minus 3 equal to 2y dividing both sides by the bracket x is equal to 2y over y minus 3 so therefore h inverse of x now will be 2x over x minus 3 and that is the end of solution to problem 3 this is the end of this uh, tutorial um, as we have said earlier check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on mappings and functions please subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not until we come your way again goodbye